Okay, I'm I'm right back also. He's uh sounds like he's trying to get set up still. Yeah. So Rafael is is joining us from France. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's so. exciting. <laughs> I thought those trees looked French. <laughs> <laughs> Your sense of humor. <laughs> Your sense of humor. Uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll give him a moment, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited about these chess classes. I mean, um, I guess people are having Zoom fatigue, you know. Uh, I'm hearing more and more. And, um, you know, uh, my main interest, actually, as I told you about these classes, is to promote our company, you know, the nonprofit, the philosophy, the whole thing. And uh, the classes are a good uh, medium, you know. And um, once we start in person, it's going to be another story and will actually be what this thing is all about. Uh, right. Yeah, I'm very excited to have Raphael here. Yeah, me too, actually. Especially knowing that he's from France. So <laughs> exciting. <laughs> yes, yes. He's a Swiss man that resides in France. And I, I'm curious, I was going to ask him how, you know, how many years ago he played, how much he played. Uh, was it just, he just played with his I mom? Knew, I used to play it uh, regularly with my mom and my grandfather, but since he passed away, I didn't really play it anymore. Mm. So, so you haven't, you just haven't had anyone to play with, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's, have that's have true. you thought about joining um, chess.com or some other lead chess or one of these online chess playing sites? I didn't think about it uh, since then. I want to recommend that. Um, let's see, I'm going to put something in the chat comments here. Yeah. Um, so I recommend for everybody who's attending the class, let's see, where do I? I recommend Okay, I recommend that you s set up a free account and start playing. Um, you'll be you'll be paired immediately with people who match your strength, so you shouldn't be frightened of the competition there. Um, if you don't want to talk to the people, that you can turn disable chat. I always disable chat um, unless I know the person that I'm playing, um, and I especially recommend that for kids to. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put that in the comments uh, for kids, for ki kids, make sure you disable chat because you're talking with strangers all over the world, chess players. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is, I can't, I, I can't see you, Raphael. You can still see me though, right? Yeah. Oh, there you are again. I see you now. Yeah, so, okay. so I, I would just start to teaching it and then yeah. see it comes in and out because uh, I think he, is, he wants to just look at. Just uh, look. Oh, That's yeah. fine. That's me. fine. Yeah. So we're going to start now. And last week I talked about the importance of controlling these four center squares and the importance of developing these, the, the pieces. And, and the importance of not moving, making a lot of unnecessary pawn moves and really thinking about pawn moves when you make them. Because remember, pawns can't move backwards. So when I, that's what I went over last week. And if you're interested, Raphael, you can check, I believe you can check out the video from what I did. Yeah, me too. So today, what I wanna look at is checkmates. Now, last week I ended with the basic four move checkmate, which I'm gonna show now. Now this is not a good system, but it is a system that lots of kids play. Uh, we're gonna just pretend that black makes random moves. I'm bringing this bishop here 
I'm, tell me if you're familiar with this as I go. Tell me if you're familiar with this checkmate, yeah. Raphael. Uh, so as you can see, I have the bishop pointed at the mm -hmm. F7 square. And when I say F7, these letters at the top and these numbers is how we find these squares. If you've ever played Battleship, it's the same idea. <clears throat> so to find the square, you go F and then down to seven, and that's it. It's an algebraic system. So anyway, I've got my bishop aimed at the pawn, and I've got my queen aimed at the pawn, and it's Black's turn. My threat is this checkmate here. It's checkmate because there's no pieces that can capture the queen, and the king cannot escape. He, can't, he wishes his queen weren't there. If his queen weren't there, he could escape. Um, only for one move, but you know. <clears throat> In addition, if this pawn was not here, it wouldn't matter because the queen moves sideways too, so that would be checkmate, even if the pawn were not there. So what we want to do is we want to prevent the checkmate. Right now, we're black, and we know the checkmate is coming. So why don't you give me some ideas of moves I can make? And when you say the move, just tell me, um, tell me, OK, so for example, let's say you wanted to, let's say you wanted to make this move. Then what you say is pawn to g6. This is g6, and we're going to play pawn to g6. So that's a suggestion of a move. It blocks the checkmate, but it's a terrible move because the queen, the queen can, cannot jump over the pawn. However, the queen can come here. Checking the king and winning the rook. So this is just a, a fork where the queen is here attacking the king and attacking the rook at the same time. These tactics form the basics of chess. <clears throat> I like to think of it as extremely complicated tic-tac-toe. In tic-tac-toe, right? If you Have you played tic-tac-toe? Yeah. The, the whole game rests on getting, getting it set up. It's just to pretend this is a little tic-tac-toe box here, right? Mm -hmm. You get it set up where you can, you can make it a straight line going this way or this way and your opponent cannot stop them both and that forms the basic structure of tic-tac-toe which most people you know have solved you can win tic-tac-toe just by playing the correct first move but chess is full of all kinds of variations of that same idea so it it, it is very much the same as tic-tac-toe when i'm sitting here and you cannot stop this, this move and this move at the same time. So that's a tactic, that's a fork. Now, <clears throat> in this case, that is a mistake. So how can we stop this move? We can't block it. So I would like you to come up with some suggestions, if you can, and if not, just pass but i'd like it if you could suggest a move to stop this checkmate i i know i'm ridiculous with the horse but i would move the horse in front of the king uh which which square you can choose three possible squares i can do uh, no uh g7 uh, e7 okay so that changes nothing no well no, because because the knight is not attacking the f7 square oh Got it. Um, just give like, just, just think, no pressure. Just think a couple seconds and try again. Um, maybe the pawn at D6. The pawn goes to D6? Yeah. Same, same problem. It's nothing changed. And remember when I said that if the if the pawn was gone, the king still could not move here because it's still check. Oh wow! Okay. The yeah, queen, no, the queen is so powerful. Right. Uh... Hmm. 
Huh. Um. Now remember, when you when you're in check, there are three ways to get out. And this is important for for everybody watching. So I should go over this anyway. The three ways to get out of check. One, you can move your king. Can you move your king here? No. Hmm. Uh, you could try to create an escape square. And this does something else too. It adds an additional captor. So another way to get out of check is to capture the piece that's checking you. In the end, you come out ahead here. So how did you come out ahead? Well, let's look at what got captured. Who came out ahead? Um, the, yeah, the, the black, I guess. Yep. Black got an extra piece. So <clears throat> that works. It's not the best, but it works. The third way to uh, stop a check is to block the check. In this case, if we go here, there's nothing that could block. Right. Uh, so what we wanna do is find a way to put a piece so that it can capture the queen when it comes there. Right, right now, how many defenders does this poor little pawn on F7 have? Um. I'll show you. If we put the bishop back and we put the pawn back, and we put the queen back and we start here and this guy does this random move, how many pieces can capture that queen? The king. The king only, which is what makes it the weakest square on the board. Got it. It's not a checkmate and he lost his queen. That's why we put the bishop here. Now, how many attackers do we have on F7? Two. Uh, yeah, how many, right. The green. How many defenders? Um, only one. 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 Which means it looks like this. Jack and mate. Right. You put one defender on there. Check. No checkmate. Right. Okay. So... That being said, the queen is not the best. But I want you to do is come up with some other ideas for how to stop me from winning this game. Just any, just, and, and if the idea is wrong, then you get to learn something. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. Um, can we take the white queen with the, or I think if we move the black queen to H5, yeah. Oh, I, no. oh this H5. is five, this is four. Oh, got it. It doesn't go to, right. Uh, well, if you no. go here, it just, I'm just going to take it. No, no, forget about it. I was okay. looking poorly. Um, oh, Lord. Um, the knight can doesn't have to go all the way down, right? It can go just one piece. Not the, the, knight. Knight, the knight has three squares that it can choose from because remember. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, meant, I meant the F, uh, the F8. What is the F8? Bishop. Yeah, bishop, sorry. Right now this bishop can go to these squares. Yeah, so can we go to in front of the king? Or? Yes, but that's, that doesn't change anything. God, why am I, oh my God, something happens with my eyes. I, I keep uh, thinking. <laughs> this is well, actually very common. This yeah. is actually how people learn chess. Got it. Because they start make it. They, it's a. Yeah, I think it's in white. When it's in black, it's sort of weird. Uh, correct. You can't because uh, the the white is on white. Okay. Um, Especially uh, learning as an adult. Got That's it. hard. Oh, oh, I okay. But it's worth it. No, no, I like it. Uh, I just sort of, okay, but. Such a brain like, challenge. Such a brain challenge. Yes. 
<laughs> like Sudoku, but I'm too old for Sudoku. <laughs> yeah, and if you are too old for Sudoku, well, don't <laughs> mingle with your, your brains. Uh, yeah, because I tried to learn Sudoku and I was like, oh man, it would have been so hard for me to learn chess now. Wow. I learned it at, as a little, you know, it did. Wow. four year old or something. Right. So, uh, <laughs> but I can't imagine learning it as an adult, but how good it would be for your brain still. Wow, that's true. Um, so I guess you said that it's not necessarily the greatest move to move the pawn from to G6. It's not because you lose your rook. It's yeah. bad. It's bad. You just, you're going to lose eventually. You don't get checkmated, but here's the thing with chess. Okay. So, um, material is, <clears throat> I like to think of chess as energy and matter. Uh, the energy is the attack, you know? I'm here, I've got all this energy. I've got potential, I can, I can attack, right? Then once I win something, I convert that energy into material. Now you're lost. Uh, Black can resign because he's not gonna come back from that. Now, if he was a beginner, uh, if I was a beginner and I won a rook, he could come back from it. But the better you are, the less you can come back. Once, by the way, once you win material, right? This is material. Then you trade. Start trading. And remember, you trade equal pieces for equal pieces. So you trade queen for queen. Your goal is to trade this piece for this piece. Or... You can trade this piece for two rooks, or you can trade this queen for three minor pieces. We call these minor. Minor, the knights, the bishops, they're minor pieces. A queen is worth three minor pieces, two rooks, two rooks, and one queen. So after we win the rook, what we wanna do, let me show you what this is gonna look like now. We're going we're gonna to start winning pieces. So there's really nothing black can do. I'll just show you how it might look. Uh, I took here. The next thread is this. He tries to stop me. See, I'm my thread. I'm going to take the knight. So he has to stop me from taking the knight. Can he run away with the knight? No. Why? Because he's so moving into? Yeah. Check. So he cannot run away. Are there any pieces that can help defend the knight? Um, can the queen? How could she? She can't jump. No, she can't jump. You see, I forgot. Okay. And she's stuck. She's stuck. Got it. Can this guy help? Can this guy help? Can this guy help? Uh, no. 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 So the only one left is this guy. Yeah. We could even try cute things like this. This is cute. I'm attacking, but I'm defended two ways, but it doesn't work. Because then this is attacked. Got it. So the only way is the king goes here. Then we're gonna do a lot of trades. Um, for example, my next move, I would start capturing pawns. Again, material. Material is like you convert the energy of your attack into substance, and then, you, and then you're just crushing them. So now I've taken a pawn. A pawn is only worth one point. It's one pawn. Uh, let's go over this again. Five pawns, one pawn, three pawns, three pawns. And this is nine pawns. And this is the whole game. Although he has the strength of about a knight. Okay, so now I'm taking more pieces. He's going to fight, but eventually what's going to happen is these are all going to get traded off. We're going to end up with nothing left on the board if we trade everything. And, of course, that's the game. When you're trading, you're playing. You're, you're trying to make the best move. You're trying not to make a mistake. You're trading every opportunity you get, but you're watching out for tricks and traps. So let's look at the game now that it's empty. What happens? We trade, we won the rook and we had one extra pawn. 
let's just put this pawn here. Okay, now we have to win. We we're winning, but we have to win still. So this is where I wanted to show you checkmates. So I'm gonna start off with some simple checkmates. Um, and then we'll return. I'm just gonna show you some simple checkmates and then we'll return to this position. So I'm gonna put the rug here. This is a real basic checkmate called a back rank checkmate. So put the rook here. We just come down here and it's checkmate. The king cannot escape his own pawns. He's, he's betrayed by his own pawns. He should have opened a window. This is called opening a window. That way it wouldn't be checkmate. So that's called a back rank checkmate. Okay, now here's another kind of checkmate. This requires two pieces and it looks very similar to the four move checkmate. It just looks like this, right? You got a bishop here. I'm attacking this square right here. And I come over, this is called an in your face checkmate because the queen is right in front of the king's face. This is an in your ear checkmate. Uh, that one, again, if I just came over here with my queen, would it be a checkmate? Um, yes, I would think so. But no, because the king, the king can capture the queen. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the reason it's a checkmate is because the king cannot move into check. So let's look at this position here. Can the king move into check? No. If I put the king here, this is called a stalemate. So I'm not sure if I went over this last time, but I'll go over it again now real quick. There are five ways to get a draw in chess. It's win, lose, or draw. Um, if you're at a tournament, you get a, if you get a win, you get a one in your column. If you get a zero, if you lose, you get a zero. If you get a, 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 a draw, you get a half a point. Which person is, go is going to be happy with a draw in this position, black or white? Black. Yes, black is happy with the draw because black is hopelessly lost. But white stumbled into this, this, this stalemate. So the five kinds of draw are one, uh, mutual agreement, that's where the two players agree to take a draw. Two, and that means one person offers the draw and the other person graciously accepts. Uh, two is um, when there's not enough pieces on the board to checkmate, this is a draw. And by the way, this is also a draw because they cannot checkmate. If you want an interesting exercise, just try to checkmate with these two pieces. You'll see it's not possible. Um, same with this, uh, not possible to do a check, you can, you can maybe create a checkmate in this, it's kind of, I think you can't even create one because he can always get out. It's, it's literally impossible. Um, so that's another kind of draw. That's called a draw by insufficient material. So we've got a draw by mutual agreement, draw by insufficient material. Third is the 50 move rule where 50 moves without a pawn move or a capture, that's a draw. The three move repetition rule, that's where if the position repeats three times, it's a draw. Sometimes it doesn't have to be three times in a row, but if you want to prove a draw that doesn't happen back to back like that, you need a score sheet. And then this way is called the stalemate. Stalemate is one of my favorite, I don't know why, but I just love stalemates. They're so interesting. Um, so this is an example of a stalemate. You can't checkmate here. The king cannot move anywhere, he's stuck, and it's his turn. And notice he doesn't have any other pieces he can move, but if he had, say, a pawn over here, then he's okay, or white's okay. White's okay, because white is not gonna get a stalemate. Black is forced to push the pawn, because if, if, if it's your move and you can make a legal move, you have to move. So if he has this pawn over here, he's not, he's not, uh, in a stalemate, and then he gets checkmated. Uh, 
and if there's a pawn over here, but the pawn is stuck, it's a stalemate. Okay, so stalemates, there's all kinds of stalemates, and I'll go over those later. But here in this position, let's look at all the different pieces that could protect that queen. It could be a king. You could protect that queen with a rook. You can put the rook over here. You don't have to put the rook behind it. See, that's a checkmate. The king can't get out. You could use a pawn. You can checkmate with a pawn. Uh, as long as the king is moving into check, that's all you need. If the king moves here, he's moving into check. So that's all you need. Now that we uh, have looked at that, Let's look at real quickly, real briefly, this rook roller checkmate. I like to let kids figure this one out on their own. So, because it's such a joy. I mean, I remember when I was a kid and I, it felt like my own ideas. It felt like I discovered, like I discovered it myself. Not that I had been taught by anybody, but that I came up with this terrific idea on my own. And it's such a, um, it gives you so much confidence. So anyway, you've got these two rooks, right? Now it's very important that they be on different files, but let me give you guys a chance. Now look, if you can't get it, I'm not gonna judge you because first of all, you're not actually playing a game. And second of all, um, you know, the way that I discovered this on my own was being a kid, um, being immersed in all these games all the time and wanting so desperately to win and calling on my own resources to figure it out. And, and it was experience that took, probably took years for me to come to this. So if you don't get it, don't, be, don't judge yourself. So just take a look here and say, what would you do to get this king checkmated? What's your first idea, first plan? Um. I would do 2D. Rook to D2? Yeah, D2, yeah. Check. And the rook to... But we got to move for black now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we have to account for black. So yes. let's let black move here. He's out of check now. And, and I'm doing... Uh, t uh, 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 f uh, A5 or whatever. Rook to A5? Yeah. Okay, this is rook to a5. We got a check again. I'm just going to move out a check. Um, to, moving to e. Uh, say again. E1. E, rook moving to, e. to uh, e. Uh, no, you do e5. No, e2, I mean. Rook to e2? Yeah. Okay, rook to e2. I'm just going to get out a check again. Um, and remember the 50 move roll, 50 move roll. Could I, if I just keep getting out of check, could I eventually get a draw? Yes, because of the 50 move roll. We won't worry about that here, but I'm just saying there's a clock. There's like a natural clock on the board. The thing is I would not have moved the rook there because I wanted the queen to have access to the king. Um, there's no queen here. Oh no, whatever the king. No, I'm sorry. The, oh, right. Uh, so you would not have met, moved rook to e2? No, no, no. Leave it, leave it. Uh, okay. I think you're noticing something. It's not, it sounds to me like you're noticing something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I don't know what I'm noticing. I mean, I could... Noticing this? You're noticing the king is in jail. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, so this is now the size of his board. Yeah, so okay. I... I would move the rook to 4A, 4A4 rather. Just to, for the kids at home, yeah. anybody watching, just want you to see the jail. This is the jail of the king. Yeah. Okay. Now, what was it you suggested? A4. A4? Yeah. Rook to A4? Yes. <gasps> Thank you for letting me out. I'm out. Oh God, oh God. Okay. I'm no longer in that jail. Did you see that? Right, so I'll do it back. I put it back to it. I just want you to see it again for the visual. Look, yeah. he's in jail. 
Oh. We got it. We're I forgot, I forgot the king can go back. Whee! <laughs> okay. Next move. So, oh, God. Um, I mean, I have to do A5, right? No. no. A5 no. is totally unnecessary here. Got it. Uh, it's just a waste of time. You know why? Because we're just going back and forth. Got it. And we could get a three move repetition if we do that too many times. Oh. Remember, checking is not the way to trap the king. You so, checking, it's the first instinct, D5, but it's not the way. E5. D5. No, E, E5. Rook to E5? That's yeah. rook? Yeah. What's wrong with that move? What's wrong with it? Uh, well, he can keep going the back. Can uh, the king... Uh, nothing king nothing can... guarding it. There was nothing guarding. Is that what you were going to say, Raphael? No. Nothing, nothing guarding the king. That's what's wrong. Uh, I mean the rook. I mean the rook. Yeah. Wow, this is hard. So the key is, I'm going to give you a clue now. The, the name of this strategy is the Rook Roller. Okay. Um, so we're going to roll. I really don't know. I don't know. I mean, I just. Um, okay. So let's look, let's start looking at what's going on here. We've got the King trapped. He's only got this part of the board. Our goal, we want to push him back, but if we just check him, he's not going to cooperate. Okay, let's say he does come here. Well, now we've got this part of the board. So we want to push him this direction. How do we make him go? Well, he's going to say, I'm not going to cooperate with you. I'm not going to go to my own beheading, walk willingly to my own death. I'm going to try to <laughs> survive as long as I can. So you got to get away from him. You can't go here. This was a good idea, but the only problem with it was you're too close. But the king can run much faster than, I mean, the rook can run much faster well, maybe, than the king. Maybe so she the can, king knows. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, run. Got it. Because when the king comes here, he's going to try to get here in time to stop me, right? But how many moves is it going to take him to get there? And how many moves does it take me? One, yeah. One, because I have a rook. You know, it's almost like I have power, he doesn't. Okay, now he's stuck, and can he go this direction? No. No. So what's he forced to do? Go back, yeah. Go up. And when he goes up, he should go up towards this rook because it's his only fighting chance. He's fighting for any, any little, he's hoping you make a mistake. So now what, now what should we do? We've got him trapped in. This, this rook right now is the new fence. So what do we do? Do we want to move this guy? Uh, no. Or is he important? No, he's doing one. an important job, right? Yeah. Uh, the one on A4, moving that one that's on A4. To Move where? it into E4, or you is it a bad to idea? E4 to do a box like this? Yeah. Is this your idea? Yeah. Okay, now that, that doesn't work with the two rooks because they don't protect each other diagonally, but this is going to be the strategy when you've got just a king and a rook. I just want you to see it. That's what it's going to look like. Okay. See? The king is now forming part of the wall. The king forms this part of the wall. The rook forms this part of the wall. And the king is in jail. But the, the, this works well because, see, when the king tries to take the rook, the king can take the king. But the problem is when the king tries, when these two try to defend each other, they can't. So even though I like your idea, 
but it's, I'm just letting you know, it's not going to work because these guys can't protect each other. They have to work together, but they can't protect each other on the corners. Uh, um, I would do a six. Yep, yeah, that's correct. No, no. A six, no. because remember, we're rolling, rolling. So now we're rolling him back. Can he go forward? No. 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 Can he bother the rook? No. 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 He can only bother the rook by going here. Okay. Is he bothering the rook? Yes. Yes. Because the rook wants to go here. Well, I can, do, I can do the other rook to a seven. This rook? Yeah, mm. no. Oh, thank you. You let me out of jail. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Okay, um, I can do uh, G5 with the, with the, yes, yeah, the first, the rook down, yeah. Which uh, rook? Yeah, that one, not that one, the other one, the other one. The A rook or the H rook? The H rook. The H rook can go to G5? Yeah. Now I ask you, <clears throat> Are these two working together? Because right now the, the king is forcing, the rook is forcing the king to choose one row, one file or the other. But are the two working together? Yeah, no. they should, but they're not, yeah. They're not, because he's just gonna go here and say, ha ha, you can't catch me. All right. Uh, ba, 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 ba. uh, should, should the A rook go to, um, E, E6? I don't know. E6? This is similar to Raphael's idea, which is, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's somewhat, you're trapping him somewhat, but it, at some time, yeah, yeah, you mentioned you can. They're gonna want to be. So, like, I'll move here and I'm attacking this, attack each other. If this was a queen, then, then these guys could literally sit like, like this. Uh, I'm sorry, not like this. Um, Okay, this doesn't work either because the king can capture the queen. But there are times when, for example, they can come like this. And now the queen is protecting the rook. If this was a rook, it would not be protecting. Right, because it's not diagonal, yes. So, so if it was a queen, you could do this move and then checkmate, you see, because the rook is cutting off the escape. But if this was a rook, no checkmate. Got it. So back to the position. It looks like this. The king is here. And the rook wants to go here, right? Wants to go here. Is this right? Or were we up one square? Were uh, we up one? Doesn't matter. No, Doesn't no, matter. I think it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it's the idea. You got to get the idea. Uh, think, think, about, think about rook roller. Right. Yeah, what, what do you do when you roll? Go with the A to to A seven or eight. I don't know. But then I I can just come here. So let me show you. Oh it, yeah. I mean I don't know what I'm talking about. We want to go here. We don't want to lose our fence. Uh -huh. So the rook can't go here, but he can run faster than the king and not block this rook that's the oh. key that's how we get the rolling because the rolling is going to be like this oh wow got it they are marching you know almost walking the king's only hope right is i'm sorry it was like this 
So the king's only hope was to take him if he went here. But if he runs away and doesn't run too far, because if he runs too far, then they can't walk like this, right? They, they can no longer, now they have to do the silly, see that, how awkward? Right, right, right. So make sure when you run away, you don't block him or don't be blocked by him. Now the slow old man king starts creeping back over here, trying to get here in time, but he doesn't have time. See, check. Can I get out? No, I have to go this way. I'm trying to creep toward him, see? Yeah. Can I get there in time? Okay, no, yeah. Now, what's the checkmating move here? Moving uh, B6 to uh, B8. Very good, excellent, and that's checkmate. Can't get out, can't run. Now back here, there was one other way to do this. Let's say you're here, or let's put you here, okay? And I'm here, and I wanna go here. There's one other idea besides this one to get the same result. This one relies on the fact that your opponent has to move. So we don't worry about where the king is right now. We do what? See if you can come up with an idea. We're not gonna move this guy. Okay, I, I'm gonna tell you, okay? Yeah, please. We're, gonna, we're just gonna go here. Because he has to move, he cannot stay there. And he cannot go here. He has to move out of the way now. The other choice is he can move out of the way going here. But then I take another file or rank. These are called ranks. These are files, these are ranks. So I take another rank. If he doesn't do that, if he goes here, then what do I do? Moving A5 to A6. Very good. Now, it doesn't really matter whether I move this one or this one. They're both the same, right? They both do the same exact thing. So whichever way I want to do it is fine. So he says, I'm still going to try to stop you from coming here. You've got two choices. What are the two choices? Moving A6 to A7. No, because that lets me out. I got uh, out. Uh, Remember, the rook that is guarding the rank in front of your king is doing the most important job. He's the gatekeeper. This guy is not really employed currently. He needs a job because he's not checking the king. He's not doing anything. But he can't do anything. He's, he's literally, he can't do this. And this is ineffective. It just causes us to go back and forth. Remember? Just back and forth. Or maybe go here and chase me around. And it's just nonsense, right? Yeah. So we can either go here, run away, without blocking ourselves in, so that we can then come here. Or... We can make use of this thing that is called Zugzwang. It's my favorite chess word. I'm going to type that word. This is the best word in chess. Zugzwang. Uh, Zugzwang is... Is it German? Yep. Is when you have... No good place to go, but you must go. You're, you're forcing, uh, <laughs> you're forcing uh, the person to move. Yep, but they have no good moves. So they just have to, or, and either way, they're gonna lose. And then here, can they stay here? 
Can can this guy say I pass? No passing in chess. Zugzwang is the word for there's no passing in chess. This word, this little word Zugzwang comes to be one of the most important concepts in the game later on. The fact that you have no place to go, but you must go. And these are this is an actual technique to force that king out because he has no good place to go. You just smoke. It's like smoking him out because he, he has to move. So he cannot go here, right? He cannot go here. He has to go here. And then checkmate. It's very important which rook you move with here. Because if you move this rook, is it checkmate? No, because he goes out. Right. No. Yeah. Right. And not only does he go out, but I can't just check him back into the corner because now he's attacking the rook. Which brings me to checkmating now. I've got 15 minutes. Checkmating with, with a, two rooks is easy compared to this. Uh, well, actually, let's start with the queen instead. The, the, the one rook is hard. The queen and the king are fairly easy. So we got the queen and the king. We want to force him back. Right now, what piece would this need to be to be checking the king right now? Who can guess this? The, what would this need to be for the king to be in check? The, the rook? No, the rook goes straight. No, not the rook. What is it? I don't have the names. The horse. The knight. Good. Excellent. The knight. The knight. That, that's right. So if this was a knight, this would be check. Yeah. So the key to checkmating with a queen and a king, you put the queen, a knight's move, away from the king. What does that do? It doesn't check the king. We don't need to check. Remember, check is not, check is not how you checkmate. You scoop the king back into this corner. So what does it do? Let's look at all the squares cut off by the, by the king. I'm, I'm sorry, by the queen. These and these. So it's like a, a triangle now. Uh, but he can still go here, right? So that's, so we want to put a king here. Let's get a king here. Now we're forcing the king. What are we doing? Where are we forcing that king to go? Um. It's his move. He's got to move. He can't stay here. Um, um, he can go to a D6. No, because of the queen. Oh, the queen goes straight and diagonal? Yes. Remember the queen? Sometimes I like to think of the queen. Well, this is. As, as a rook and a bishop yeah, combined. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. And then, um, yes, to, I don't know, e7, I don't know. Yeah, he, he has no good moves, right? Yeah. Uh, he can't go here because of the diagonal line. Yeah, right. He can't go here because of the king. And he could go here or here. Only two places left. Right. So now, how do we put this queen a knight's move away? Where do we put the queen to make it a knight's move away? Um, um, bo, 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 um, um, there's only one square it can go to, uh, e, uh, e4, yeah, e4 or d4. Or, no, not e4. This is a rook. That's a rook's move away. I want a knight's move. Remember the knight? The knight oh, is a why, letter why L. Did you, what, what did you say? To, uh, can you repeat the initial question? Because I think we, I... We, we want to put the... Where can we put the queen so that the queen, if it were a knight, would be checking the king? Oh, got it. Okay. Now, right now, how many oh, squares... Then D, D5. Correct. Yeah. Now, the king, again, he is forced to move. He can't make a good move, but he's going to come towards me. Very annoying, right? Because I, I want him to go this direction. Right. But he's coming towards me. So if the queen is already a knight's move away, 
and you can't improve on that, then you can just move the king closer, you know? It's okay. You don't want to move the queen again to be a knight's move away again, because then the king's going to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The king you is want him to go that direction. So just leave the queen where she is. She's doing everything she can. Right. And you just move him closer so he can't go here. Right. So now what are the two squares the king can go to? Uh, oh, F7. Uh, no, not F7. No, 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 yeah. Um, uh, G7, you mean? Yep, she can go, he can go to G7. Yeah. Now, where do we put the queen so it's a knight's move away? Uh, oh, a knight's move away? Uh, I would put her uh, F, F5. F5 is fine. Also, this is fine. Yeah. I like this a little better because I'm going... Upward Same direction, but yeah, yeah. both are fine. So now, where can the king go? To uh, H H eight, yeah. H H. He can also go here, and he yeah. can go here. Okay. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Let me test your logic skills and your memory skills. Should we put the queen a knight's move away now on this move? Um, um, I mean, you mean in, in G6? Yeah, should we go here? Uh, or here, or here? Um, well, the king will start moving. I mean, oh, I don't know. What's this yeah. called? Do you guys remember this? What's what's the happened king? to this king? It's in prison. Yes, it's in prison. It's a stalemate. Uh huh. See, he can't move at all, right? He can't go here. Right. He can't go here. Right. But it's his turn. Right. So that old Zugzwang rule: have no place to go, but you must go. Right. If you can't legally move, it's not a checkmate. It's just a draw. It's a stalemate. So we don't put the queen a knight's move away from the king in the corner. It's fine as long as you're not in the corner. The minute you're in the corner, and that's why, by the way, that's you can see from this truth that the fact that the knight, the knights move away causes the king to be in prison in the corner is because of this triangle. See, let's look at that triangle. There it is. Goes like this and this. Uh -huh. and it puts him in Zugzwang. Or uh Zugzwang when Zugzwang when you can't legally get out of check is called stalemate. So <clears throat> what do we want to do instead? We're right here. He went here. We just want to leave him one little square. And I like to think of this as if you have a dog, you wouldn't want to leave the dog inside a tiny little square where it had no place to run. You'd give him a little room. So think of the king as a little puppy dog that it needs to be able to run back and forth. Otherwise, he's going to be in prison. So then he can move here. Now, what do you think we should do next? By the way, he still has this square. He can still go back. He's never. He's not in prison. I would move the king to. Yeah. Does yes. it matter? No. Okay. Yeah, it really doesn't matter because of Zugzwang. Uh, if if uh, if the king were able to move here, then this would not be a checkmate, right? Uh huh. But can the king move here? No. But the king is not stalemated because. He has his little, you know, little dog run. So then I... It's pretty close to being checkmated now. Uh, There's three possible checkmates here. Queen oh my four. god. Four. 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 Queen to e8. That's checkmate, correct, because the king cannot move next to the king. And there's... 
Checkmate. Same thing. Same thing. This is in your ear and in your face. So that's about five different ways to checkmate there. But it's, it's a little tricky, as you can see, you know, with these, uh, these techniques, these strategies for checkmating with the end game, they're not about check. They're about cutting off squares for the king. Uh-huh. And trapping the king without stalemating the king. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so back to, we're going to stop here in a couple minutes, but back to the beginning, when we have a rook, when we win a rook, remember when I came over here and I won that rook with the fork? The reason it's so devastating is because now all I have to do is trade the rest of my pieces and checkmate you with a king and a rook. It's like the game is over. And your job, if by the way, if you're if you're black and you're playing somebody and they take a rook like that or any piece, your job then is not to go quietly. Your your job is to fight back, just cause trouble. Be like a little kid in a classroom and you know, ring the fire alarm, uh, put a tack on the teacher's chair, anything you can think of to disrupt things because otherwise you're just gonna get this, you know? So, <laughs> all right, now um, just to review, just really briefly review, if you're king, if you wanna get this king to go that direction and you have a rook over here, uh, I'm sorry, a rook over here, are you going to check in with this rook or this rook? With a 5H. Correct. Because this rook is doing a very important job of cutting off the squares. And one other recap here. If you're, if you're black here and you're checkmating this guy, you're right here. Do you want to go to this square or this square with the queen? Two squares you can choose from. I would go C7. Yeah, good. Because now the king can go here. Yeah. But if you go to this square, that's that stalemate. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember not to be a knight, uh, a knight move next to the king. Right. And uh, there's a bunch of stalemates here. This is a stalemate. This is a stalemate. As long as this king is cut off. Right. Okay, and one more quick recap question. I have three minutes. Let me just see how fast I can set up a chessboard. Well, don't, don't rush. I mean, we can go past. It's not, they're not gonna cut us off. Oh yeah, that's, that's good, that's good. Uh, we, have, we have control over it. Okay, good. So, yeah, I can go a little bit past. I find that chess lessons that last longer than an hour are very hard. It, the, brain, the brain gets exhausted. Yeah, well, <laughs> more so that I'm not an intermediate. Obviously, I don't even remember the pieces that well. Um, well, intermediate is an interesting term. Most kids think they're intermediate when they know how the pieces uh -huh. move. And so we just start teaching. This is all kind of beginner stuff. But I teach it in intermediate classes. Let me ask you, Raphael. You're, uh, you're, you know, already know how to play, but did you find this information useful? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because, because I didn't know, I didn't know how they were called in English, all the pieces. Oh, really? The, yeah, the because bishop, I used to play it in German. The Ren, with my right? This is the, la reine, right? La reine? Mm. La, 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 la roi? Oui, le roi. Ou, uh, le roi, right? Or okay. you would call it uh, der König en allemand. Oh, uh, in German. Oh, oh, German. I thought I. Okay, so yeah, I just know some of the French words, you know. And so, in in German, the, the king is the König. In French, it's le roi. And, oh, what's uh, it called in German again? The der König. Der König. It's a Zug swing, or in German we say I Zug zwang. I Zug zwang. Oh yeah. Okay. And and that is a battle term, right? That that term comes from yeah. a battle term, right? 
Okay, now one recap question and then we'll stop for today. But um, what is uh, white threatening to do here? Moving the queen to e5. Okay, that's that's a good move, but this is a better move. Remember, this is that checkmate because it's guarded by the bishop. Uh -huh. So so don't when you can make a good move, don't make the mistake of missing the better move, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. So this is the review. This is that four move checkmate. So when you're here. The plan is queen takes f7. And if you have the opportunity to do so, I recommend trying to practice this on somebody just so you, you know, get the, uh, what do you call muscle memory, where, you know, the muscle memory of moving the queen here and moving the bishop here and then checkmating here to get that memory of doing it. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to close for today because that's a lot of, that's a lot we just did and a, lo <laughs> a lot of thank you. exercising so thank you anthea all right and we'll see thank you, you next week thank you and i'm gonna send you the information how to access on on venmo right yeah uh yes of course venmo. okay you. great thank you and nice to meet you have a great day and play chess yes play yeah. chess. get, get a um try to get a free account it's yeah. uh yeah. Best okay. way to improve, other than studying tactics. All right, bye-bye, guys. Bye.